Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is the Pro 123 Icebreaker Criterium. So just as a disclaimer, this video is pretty much for educational purposes. So if you don't want to watch a video with me commentating on it, I'll be uploading a video a little bit later of just the race footage. <clears throat> but until then, I'm pretty much just going to be critiquing the video on what I did wrong, what I should have done, and how the race went for me. So anyways, my name is Leo Bugtie, and let's get right to it. You only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. Only hit the road when you're missing home. You only know you love her when you let her go. So, leading up to this race, um, the past two and a half weeks of training were pretty difficult because it's been rainy, it's been cold, it was dark, windy, it was pretty much all the bad elements. And I really wasn't sure how I was going to do. And I had a little bit of cough that was lingering for two and a half weeks. When I first attacked and I made this move, my heart rate was already extremely high. And I was actually quite worried it wouldn't go down. Later on the race, my heart rate did go back down and I started feeling a lot better. So you can see attacks going left and right. This race was definitely quite active. Um, you can see a crash right there. I don't know how that guy went down, but luckily it was just him and he was able to get back in the race. Um, I saw a monster mini guy go up the road. I really thought it was a different guy, so when I was able to bridge up to him and I finally saw him, I like, oh shoot, I bridged up to the wrong guy and I marked up, I marked the wrong dude. So I just kind of pulled a little bit easy. Um, I didn't really dig too hard and I saw the guy right there who made that attack and acceleration was the guy who I was originally marking. Right here again, um, this guy made another move. Um, I really wasn't planning to follow him again, but I was right behind him, so I just kind of went with it. Um, his teammate ended up following, so I just let them do the work, and I really wasn't interested in working, but when we finally had a substantial gap, I ended up just doing my turn and doing my pull. There's a few other guys interested in this break, but we really weren't hauling, and we weren't going hard enough. So I just kind of sit up, and I wait for the next one. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, just checking it out, <clears throat> seeing what's happening. A guy little makes a little move here, um, and we have a bit of a gap of the peloton, so I decided to go with this because I would get further up the road. Um, but then I noticed the three guys weren't cooperating too much, so I don't really bother with it. And unfortunately, my teammate ended up covering that move, and everyone else kind of just followed. Uh, so I'm just recovering right here, and I see another attack go up the road, so I follow it because I was interested in working with them. <clears throat> but when I made my acceleration past them, I guess I didn't look inviting because no one ended up following me and it took a while for reinforcements to finally come. And when they did, we weren't hauling so I was a bit frustrated right here and I was kind of being pretty vocal and kind of yelling. Like, oh, let's go boys. But uh, it really wasn't working out. We weren't going fast enough. So I try to put in a little bit of a dig to motivate the guys, you know, let's get it moving, we're in a break, let's go, let's go. But I decided to attack right there, right when that guy pulled off. Now a few guys came with me. I ended up following it, and these two monster media guys were the guys who I was originally marking. And they ended up pulling so hard, and I just needed more time to recover and lower my heart rate. But <clears throat> by the time that I was able to help out and do my share, it was already too late. <clears throat> uh, and it kind of sucked. You can see here they were slowing down. They were tired and they needed time to recover as well because they just put in the move. But I was trying to follow their move and I don't think they saw that and I really wasn't able to recover fast enough. So that was kind of a bust. So pretty much the lesson of this race is patience. Patience, patience, patience. Because I made a lot of bonehead moves that I shouldn't have done and I was just a bit too active. Um, in my head, I was like, I'm feeling good, so I'm gonna go. Like I, like, um, like I see, ooh, I wanna get in a break with this guy. Ooh, this guy looks good, I wanna get in a break with that guy. Oh, this move looks good. Oh, this is a perfect time to attack. And I have all these things in my head, like, oh, no. So we're going, we're going, there's a few counterattacks, and I see my teammate here moving up, 
and I just know he's gonna light it up. So I start preparing myself and I try and follow his wheel and I get a little pinched right here and I can't move left. And I tell him to go follow that wheel, but he ends up he ends up backing off and it's too late already and I see him lighting it up. So I'm in my mind, I'm like, I gotta follow this counterattack because I wanna be there for that. And this is where it really hurt and this is where it bit because I needed to close this little gap and on my head, I'm like, I gotta wait for the counterattack and just recover as fast as possible, lower the heart rate as much as possible. And I'm waiting. And I knew those guys weren't gonna go, so I decided to go because I wanna keep my momentum and my speed. And unfortunately, again, no one follows me. And I'm out here quite alone and I'm just waiting and I'm looking at my power mirror. I'm like, just gotta tempo this out until reinforcements arrive. So I'm here waiting, waiting, but no one comes. And finally, when reinforcements come, uh, there's a few guys, but it didn't work out. And uh, that was that, that move. Uh, so you can see right there, there's a break of three up the road. And that was the move of the day, pretty much, because that move was out there for a long time. And I was really biting myself in the butt that I wasn't in it. I tried to bridge up earlier to that move, but everyone was on my wheel. So I back off and I just decide to wait. Um, and you can see here, everyone was pretty much interested in bridging up to that breakaway. So everyone here drinking a bottle of water, you can see everyone grabbing a bottle, trying to get a drink, lower the heart rate. And <clears throat> there's a bit of an acceleration to try and bridge up to the guys as they're gaining time and they're keeping their speed and they're keeping their distance. But um, just a lot of guys interested in getting in that breakaway, including myself. Um, so we're motoring. We're in a little mini break. The Peloton's splitting right now and it's pretty much shattered. <clears throat> and there's another move right there you can see on the left side. And I thought that was the move that was going to be able to bridge up, but I guess it was just a little bit too far because either that or the breakaway wasn't gonna pull. So I was a little bit salt right here. So me and this guy, um, he ends up making the acceleration to create the gap and I end up doing my share of the, br of the work to bridge up and he ends up attacking me. And I was pretty upset with that because I really felt like it was in his benefit to help bring me up there in that breakaway. And this is where it really hurt the most. Um, I was absolutely dying trying to bridge up to that break. And I was kind of sad when that guy pulled off. I had to cover his turn, but it was kind of a lost cause. The Peloton was right behind us and they were on our tail and the game resets once again. And we're coming down to a field sprint, but I'm kind of noticing everyone's slowing down. Everyone's looking at each other and I decided to punch it one more time. We're about like 19 minutes left in the race. I decided just one more, one last one. I'm going, I got a gap, and one guy ends up bridging up to me. He looks back and he's kind of demoralized because the Peloton's right on our tail. We only got about six seconds, but uh, they end up catching us right away. So I have about 15 minutes left to pretty much kind of recuperate myself, just recover as much as possible and get ready for the final few laps. This is pretty much the worst part of my race. Um, I was trying to recover as much as possible from all the moves I made, but also try and maintain my position and follow my teammate's wheel. And he kept going through the inside and I really wasn't sure if I was going to make the inside. <clears throat> I was starting to get fatigued. <clears throat> I stopped remembering all the little tricks like close the inside, like people kept diving in. Um, whenever people dive in I have to like go on the outside and try and move up again and I'm like right now I'm out in the wind and I'm wasting energy and right here I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it and I end up slowing down just to try to fit alright so I was outside again didn't cover the inside didn't cover the inside end up slowing down and and that was that I was about 30th wheel going to the last few corners and it was already too late and that was pretty much the race so uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one.